So the first thing you need to do is you need to know how to log in. So you log in with that and you have to go to token, uh, you know how to buy tokens and you buy tokens from here. The second step is we're doing, th we're gonna show you how to purchase tokens today. And then Rico's gonna intervene whenever he needs to intervene. And Rico, um, and then you could just step in and come in and interrupt as I'm talking, correct? Okay. Okay, so then once you do that, once you log in, you go to buy tokens. This is the screen you're going to get receive. And then you have to put how many tokens do you want? And then it will automatically calculate. So you, you enter the number that you need. It's all in your back office. Rico, if you're ready with your screen, uh, with your, and I'll do a screen share, then you could do a live demo. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through these slides and then you could do a live demo. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So you put the number of tokens that you need. You need one token, you need three tokens. You guys, the gas money is basically the same for one token or three tokens, which I'm gonna show you, okay? So once you do that, you're in your back office, then it's gonna give you choices. Okay, after this you do, right? You put the token that you need, you're gonna get this screen that's gonna pull up. Select your payment method. Okay, so you could use many wallets uh, globally around the world. Um, I use PayPal for uh, just to try, and <laughs> I would not suggest PayPal because uh, PayPal gas fees were $40, okay? So the best option is using Metaverse. You go to Metaverse, okay? And these are the options that you will have for your payment options. Then you will, then they will like select the payment. And also uh, when you do the select payment, your invoice is created immediately. So that way the, the system is keeping track of exactly what you're saying. And there's an invoice that's created for your tax purposes uh, later on that you use, use this tool to, for your, per, uh, for your taxes, okay? So the invoice will be able to use, um, at least for this part of the world, North America, you'll be able to use this uh, for tax purposes, okay? And so invoice is created immediately after you've selected the payment uh, method. And then this is how the screen looks like, you guys. So the first step that I suggest people is, so here, I just put one token, right? I did one token. And um, so the processing fee was 30 cents and the network gas, you know, the network gas fee was 497. So I did some numbers and I put one token or three tokens and the gas uh, fee was, and this is third party fee, you guys, this is not our fee because when you're using um, digital assets from one uh, wallet to another wallet, there's gas fees. Everyone, this is how these companies make their money. This is transferring fees, okay? So we, our, ours is just $20. And then the processing fee is another fee that's added because of the third party. And then the network fee is added because of the third party. So total um, is 25, 27, right? So whether you take one token or you take three tokens, this fee will just fluctuate a little here, okay? But um, so this is part of this process fee, right? Then there's a fee when you get into metaverse because they have to make money from what you are buying or transferring and things like that. So everyone charges fees, nothing is free, okay? So payment method instructions. Over here, when you go into your back office, when you select metaverse, there's a pay, um, metaverse payment instructions. Those are instructions slide by slide, slide by slide, um, and what I want to do is I want to convert those into PDFs um, for everyone. So that way I could just pop them in our, what do you call, uh, Telegram, and we could pin it. And so that way it could make it easier for everyone. But it's all right there. It's all in your back office. So when you hit that icon, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions. If you don't know what Metaverse is, that's a wallet. It's another wallet out there. And you'll be able to set it up. And let me talk how you set it up, okay? So when you hit this, you get, this is your first instruction. Click here to download, install browser extension. So you have to click here. You just follow the instructions. So when you hit that icon, you'll get a pop-up. The pop-up is gonna say click here. So you basically, you click here. If you don't have Chrome extension for Metaverse, it's gonna pop up, right? And then you just follow the instructions. The next step is create a new wallet. So you're creating a new wallet. So we just follow. So this is the second one. So when you get that pop-up, this is how it's gonna look like. And you just hit that and, and, and you get started. Follow instructions. That's how simple it is, you guys. And then create a password. You have to create a password, something that you choose, something that you decide. And it's very simple, okay? You decide whatever, no, and write it down. Always keep track of everything that you do. 
secure your wallet. Then you have to secure your wallet and you just follow the instructions as the instructions are saying, this is where you secure the wallet. These are all pop-ups in your back office. Uh, write down your secret recovery words, phrases. Um, this, is, this is something that there's two ways you could do it. Uh, one that you're permanently setting it up. And I did that with my other company. So I had all my uh, words, my secret words for recovery. This is for your protection. So no one has access to your wallet because it's digital asset. You don't want hackers to come in. So this is, I would suggest, and because we're building a huge organization for our dreams, I would suggest that to go through this, keep your phrases. Why? Because when you're going to be transferring your money out of, so I mean, we only need to get the token once, right, for set up our membership. But then when when you're going to be transferring your uh, funds from uh, what do you call um, co-op, it's going to go into some type of digital wallet, okay? And it's better to have security so that way you protect your money, okay? And click the next to finish the process and and load, okay? So just follow the instructions, and then I I broke it down even more. Okay, so let me just show you. So you click that and your process is done, okay? So then you'll have a drop down for signature request and so you have you sign right there, okay? And and, the, the, and then just talking about buy crypto with MetaMask. So it'll tell you about the numbers and, and Rico's gonna do a live demo, you guys. And connect your wallet. So you're following, you're connecting the wallet. So your wallet is connected to Metaverse. This is just one time process you're gonna be doing. Once your Metaverse wallet is set up, is connected, the, the systems are gonna start talking to each other. So you won't have to worry about it. So once you set this up, you guys, you'll be able to um, buy your token. And then not only that, but you'll be able to transfer your money into Metaverse wallet and then transfer wherever you need to because it's digital asset, right? Digital asset needs to be transferred into a digital decentralized wallet. And then from there you transfer to wherever you need to transfer to. And then choose any country, you know, money that you want to type. See, there's options over there. So these are, you know, it's getting, I just want to show you, okay? Enrico's going to do the demo. And then so that we understand the instructions I've already put in there, okay? And it's just breaking it down. so. Look after buying, you can see the transaction here, then click pay with metaverse and, and I'll show you all that in a second. Okay, so here we go. Then I made trainings off of trainings because that's what I like to do. So once you connect, so once you put your password, you connect it. When you connect this, you'll get this drop down, right? You'll get a drop down, you'll go follow the instructions from Google Play Stores and you say yes, lock it, then you put your password, right? And then once you have downloaded the metaverse on your um, from the Chrome extension, it's going to show up in your URL. And I'm going to show you that once it shows up in your URL, like right at the top of your URL, when you're Googling something, that's where it shows up. You have to pin it. The reason you pin it is because so that way it's always there. So you don't have to go search because if what if you have hundreds of uh, download save extensions that you have done, right? So if you pin it, it'll always show up on the top of your browser um, on your URL bar. Okay, and I'm going to show you that. So like like this. So once I downloaded uh, Metaverse, it showed up right over here, like like I said. And then I pinned it. Once you pin it, it looks like this. Okay. So when you pin it, it looks like this. This is telling you to pin it. And once you pin it on your URL is always going to be there because I'm going to be using that a lot, right? So I don't have to go and find it. It's always pinned at my front of my dashboard. Okay, once that's done, then you know that your systems are all merged together and you'll be able to make the transaction easily. Okay, and then when you have to log in, log in, when you hit, yeah, connect, it'll connect. So when you hit this word, connect right over here, uh, connect, this is going to pop up. You're going to have a pop up drop down and say, Welcome, decentralized webs awaits you. Put your password, you unlock it. Okay, that means when you're ready to purchase, right? So now, see, if it's already synced to Co op Inc. because we have already put the system together and, and you agree. You, you, are you signing? Are you signing in? Basically, yes. And you go, you go, yes. Okay, and then it's just protocols protect your funds and talking about recovery and phases and all that. You say, Got it. Okay, and then you're in the back office of Metaverse, you guys. So then you have options to buy, sell, send, swap, bridge, whatever you decide, and you copy your address. So your copy your address is right over here. This is your address right over here. This is what you copy to play 
uh, to send money or to buy or whatever, to buy, you'll go here, but to send, you'll be copying this address, okay? We're using TRC20 Ethereum. Um, that's the best way to purchase this. And, and see, look, I did purchase 2479, 29. I was just trying. Oh, by the way, another thing is you guys, when I realized that I was like, what happened to my transaction? And then when last night, when I was making these slides, I was like, oh, so it doesn't happen immediately. Okay. But a couple of days later, I just went to make these slides last night and I saw oh, it was there. So I have 2479 in my metaverse wallet already. Okay, because I was just playing around with this just to try different options. So I would tell people in North America, don't use PayPal because it's very expensive. They charge arm and elect $40 for gas fee. Mm -mm, we're not paying, all right? So, and then you enter your, enter the public address. So you're, you know, this is the address that I told you right here. You copy it here. If you're sending it from Metaverse to um, co-op income, then you copy and you send. And then basically, this is how it looks like, you know, and you received confirmation. This is how I, it was confirmed, buy and sell. And um, so when you're about to, you say you want to send or buy, this uh, screen will pop up. When you say you buy, then you decide, you, you pick your um, digital asset, um, which one you want to use, the coin that you want to send your money to and buy and sell. And you put the amount that you want to buy from and you copy basically everything from here. These numbers, you need to make sure that you're according to this. And where is the other slide? Okay, okay, let me see, hold on. Because I wanted to show you something else also. Okay, well, Rico does the um, quick demo, he'll show you. Okay, so then basically, and then you confirm Okay, and okay, so this is the amount that you put in and then you send it. Here we go. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you. So basically it tells you how much exactly you have. If you copy this, if you scroll down, it'll tell you, if you go all the way to the other side, it'll tell you how many percentages you need. So when you're adjusting that over here, it'll tell you right over here, you'll be able to adjust it. So that's something that Rico is gonna show you the demo play around with it, you guys. Uh, and you know, and once everything is set, okay, and then you say, pay with metaverse. When you hit this, it will light up. You'll see like red squares all over. That means the transaction is taking place. So we'll say pay with metaverse and it will light up and then it will be available in your wallet. Um, so you'll be able to go in your co-op wallet and see your transaction money available to buy your token. Okay, it's um, we're recording so you can see this over and over and then Rico is going to do a demo and, and always follow the write down, you know, amount in USD, write down the crypto amount, make sure your external wallet is using this network copy your crypto address. So instructions are right there. We just have to follow it, okay? And, and then of course, when you see this recording, um, you'll be able to see. 